What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 video. Today's video is going to be a quick little guide uh, for a certain piece of gear that is a must-have for anyone who enjoys using or, you know, likes skill builds or enjoy, enjoys using my pyro ball that just recently dropped. Uh, any kind of skill build, you will greatly benefit from using this bag, possibly even DPS builds, any, any kind of build. Uh, this is a great, great backpack. It is the Acosta's bag, really. It's an exotic bag and I'm going to let you guys know how to get it, why it's so strong, give you a demonstration of, of what it does uh, in this video. So please leave a like and subscribe and let's get into it. So first and foremost, let's have a look at the bag and see. This is the Pyro Ball that I recently dropped if you guys are interested in it. It's very, very strong. It's very fun to use. And this bag, I've just kind of made it an addition to this build because I recently was given it and it's really, really strong. So the best part of this bag is that you can actually grant, because I have six skill tiers, instead of... Uh, so when you damage an enemy with a grenade, it gives you one skill tier for 15 seconds. When it's an, uh, well, grants overcharge if you're already at tier six. Now overcharge is a massive buff. It is insane. It is, your skills just go on steroids. They become so, so potent. And it's really, really strong. Now currently guys, in PVP, you have to hit someone with a grenade and it, it, they have mitigated this in PVP. But in PvE, you don't even have to hit the enemy with a grenade. You just have to throw the grenade. That's the interesting part of this. And this is why it makes it so strong. So two in the bag. The best part of this is you actually get an extra armor kit, which is really, really good. Also, you get 10% status effects, 10% repair skills, and also ammo capacity and grenade capacity. So not only... Well, what I swapped out was um, the Golden Gear 1 piece, which gave, which gave me 10% status effects. This gives me that and so much more repair skills. And then on top of that, I've got skill haste and skill damage and more skill haste on a mod. So it's got a yellow mod slot also. So this is perfect for any kind of uh, hybrid, I would say, even if you're running DPS and you wanted a bit of utility. But this is perfect for skill builds. It's really, really strong. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it. But first, how are you going to get this? It's, it's so important to get this piece. It makes your skill build so, so strong and it's worth it in every way. So currently, guys, in TU8, they added a new feature. So when you uh, find the various faction boxes, let's say, for example, hyena boxes. You guys know what a hyena box is. So it's tiny little boxes that glow green uh, right here. So this is an outcast box, just for an example. So in TU8, if you've found a box, it actually shows you on your map now. So there it is right there. I've obviously found this outcast boss box recently. Uh, the Costas bag can drop from any of these factions, but hyena keys, uh, sorry, hyena boxes, there's a 3% chance to drop every time you open one. So hyena boxes are what you guys want to go for. This is obviously an outcast box, but you can, there is a percentage chance that you'll get it, but hyena is the best. I'm just showing you an example. So that will be on your map. So just go through your map and just zoom in and have a look and see what, if you guys have found any key uh, boxes lately and how are you going to get keys? The best way that I find to get keys is to fast travel to the shop, run right over here to this underground entrance, and you will follow this track. And you just go underneath collecting ceramics, electronics, and a lot of keys. They will be on cabinets on the wall. And that's how you're going to get them. Also, this bag drops in New York. That's where I got it. So it obviously just can, it can drop anywhere. But hyena keys are the, the most efficient way. There's a True Sons box I recently opened as well. So hyena keys are the ones that will say hyena. So just make sure you guys try and open as many of those as possible. Um, I, there are lots of guides on YouTube. There's, you know, go onto the Reddit pages on the forums. I'll let you know exactly where the keys are, or I'm sure you guys have found a bunch of them. I seem to have not found a lot of hyena keys, unfortunately. But yeah, once you've done that, then you will get access to this absolute beast of an exotic backpack. So let me just give you guys a demonstration with the pyro build. So when you shoot a chem shot, if you guys can see, look how big the radius is. That's where the interesting part is. You see that explosion right there? It's okay. It's not bad. But when we actually throw a grenade... And I'm going to throw it right there. It's not even going to hit the enemy. You can see the buff is now active below my ammo count. Look how big this is, guys. Look at that. It's insane. It takes up the whole firing range. And it amplifies it so much. It is insane. And this works with all of your skills. So can you imagine having even a, 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 a turret up and you keep throwing grenades? You'll absolutely just destroy everything in sight. And... 
I'm going to quickly show you guys exactly what I mean. So if we go into the chem launcher, uh, let me just, so just reset your skill cooldowns over here. We're going to go into this chem launcher or any of the skills, and I'm going to show you just how potent that overcharge can be. And it, you can just proc it as many times as you want, then refill your, your grenades. And I think there's some certain talents that allow you to get your grenades back, like ongoing directive. That could be something that would be really interesting to combine. Um, so if we look over here, I am getting radius 30% and then it goes to 135 and burn duration goes up by 40%. So as you guys can see, it's absolutely insane how it amplifies it. So for example, if we wanted to do like a striker turret uh, to do some damage, 120% damage. When it's overcharged, it's 175% striker damage. So it's really, really, really strong. And I'm loving this bag. It, it's not the best design. Uh, it's okay looking. Uh, it's a bit chunky, but it's really, really great. And it works so well with this build, any kind of skill build. It's a must have, and it's so easy to proc. But like I said before, in PVP, they have mitigated this. Uh, it doesn't work as well. I didn't even see it proc that often as well. I hit agents with a grenade. It doesn't work hardly. So this is probably mainly for PVE. But, you know, if you could lucky enough to get it to proc in PVP, which is very situational, it'll work. But like I said before, you get stats upon stats with the two in the bag and plus your attributes so it's worth getting agents go and grind it hyena boxes or just in the open world but that will give you three percent chance per box so make sure you do it please leave a like subscribe for more division two guides builds vendor resets all that good stuff and i'll be seeing you in the next one peace out guys